Hello and welcome to this learning video. Till now we have seen the very two property on Z transform. One is the linearity property and the second one is the change of scale or a damping rule property. Okay, here in this learning video we are going to talk about the third property on Z transform that is multiplication by positive integer n property. Okay, so without wasting a time let us see what this property says. So this property says if Z of Z transform of f of n is f of z, then prove that z transform of n into f of n is minus z into ddz of f of z. And also we have to find z transform of n square, that is the second part will concentrate it uh, later on. But uh, see here, if z transform of f of n is f of z, okay, then if you multiply this function by n, then its z transform should be this that is what we wanted to prove okay so how are we gonna start with we're gonna start with the definition right so we can write by the definition by the definition of z transform by the definition of z transform we have what we have z transform of f of n is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n into z power minus n and we are given that this is f of z right and you can write it uh, say to be equation 1 okay so I can write this one as that is summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n into z power minus n is equal to f of z. Now you just look at the result. What we want on the right hand side? We want a derivative of f of z. What we have for the time being f of z. So what I need to do? I need to differentiate this with respect to z. Okay. So differentiating with respect to z we get so what we get differentiating with respect to z so it would be like ddz of summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n into z power minus n is equal to ddz of f of z okay now we have to differentiate this bracketed quantity but as you can see this is summation so what is the algebra of derivative derivative of sum is sum of their derivatives right so you can just take this differentiate inside and you can write summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n into ddz of z power minus n is equal to ddz of f of z simple okay because this being a function of n is constant so i have to uh, as i am differentiating with respect to z so there would be differentiation only of z to the power minus n so take differentiation of it so this is summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n what is its derivative its derivative would be n minus n sorry minus n into z power minus n minus 1 is equal to ddz of f of z simple now what i am going to do is now i am going to multiply this equation by minus 1 okay and write this z to the power minus n minus 1 as z to the power minus n into z to the power minus 1. So this one can write summation n is equal to 0 to infinity minus sign I will be giving it here minus ddz of f of z okay minus sign is over so I will write n into f of n and this z to the power minus n minus 1 can be written as z to the power minus n into z to the power minus 1. Law of indices simple and z to the power minus 1 
can be written as 1 by z so what you need to do is you just multiply this to the right okay so this will gives you summation n is equal to 0 to infinity n f of n into z power minus n and multiplying this z to here I will be getting minus z into d d z of f of z simple so now as you can see I am getting my I have already get my this uh, right hand side and what is this by definition by definition this is z transform of n f of n which is equal to minus z into d d z of f of z this proves the result very simple isn't it now uh, if this is clear to you we can move further to find out z transform of n square now look here this is hence find means whenever there is something like hence reduce or hence find out the second part meaning thereby you have to make use of the first part this was the first part that we have done now let us see the second part okay so what is the second part let me rub this now So we'll find the second part. See here. So this is the second part that uh, we are going to find. What we have to find? To find Z transform of N square. Okay. We have to find z transform of n square and what this property says property says z transform of n into f of n okay so i can write z transform of n square is same as z transform of n into n okay right so what is my f of n if you compare with this here here f of n is equal to n okay if f of n is equal to n then what is its z transform yes therefore z transform of f of n which is z of n is how much do you remember this elementary z transform z of n is how much z upon z minus 1 whole square z upon z minus 1 whole square which is equal to f of z okay obviously mod of z should be greater than 1 okay now just make use of this property by the multiplication by positive integer n property what we have we have z transform of n into f of n is equal to minus z into d d z of f of z so substitute all these values so z of n into what is my f of n is n so n into n is equal to minus z into d d z of what is my f of z this z upon z minus 1 whole square okay now this can be written as z transform of n into n n square is minus z now apply quotient rule of derivative do you remember the quotient rule of derivative so what is derivative of u by v this is v square v into du minus u into dv 
that is the quotient rule of derivative and that is what I am going to apply here. Okay, so what is it? This is v square. So already square is there and this square gets 4. z minus 1 power 4. Okay. Now, start with v, end with v. What is v? v is z minus 1 whole square into derivative of z with respect to z 1 minus u means z into derivative of z minus 1 whole square 2 into z minus 1 into 1 okay this can be written as minus z now as you can see there is a term of z minus 1 in the numerator so you can cancel one z minus 1 term with this denominator and we remain with 1 minus 2z upon z minus 1 sorry there is z minus 1 square so it should be z minus 1 minus 2z upon z minus 1 q okay so when you solve this this is minus 2z this is z okay so this is minus z into minus z minus 1 upon z minus 1 q simple now you can just take minus sign common or uh, from here and you can write this z into z z square plus z upon z minus 1 q mod of z should be greater than 1 so this is my z transform of n square okay so my z transform of n square comes out to be z square plus z upon z minus 1 q so in this uh, we have seen what is this multiplication by positive integer n property followed by one example we can uh, make use of this type uh, this property and uh, this uh, problem that we have taken uh, as and when required okay so i hope this is uh, clear to you for any doubt you can contact thank you for watching and have a good day